Here it is guys, probably the most confusing product that we sell. <laughs> and the reason for that is we get so many questions, what is a TV box? Okay, so we're going to do an unboxing for you guys and hook it up to, let's imagine that this is a TV, right? It is a computer monitor, but any monitor these days, whether it's a TV or a monitor, as long as it has an HDMI input, can now be made into a smart TV. Okay, TV in the sense that you can watch your shows, right? So this is a computer monitor and so can you take a normal computer monitor at home as long as it has HDMI. Please don't try one of the VGA connector, it's not going to work. However, we can try using a VGA adapter. Again, it makes things even more complicated. But, okay, so, so any screen guys, I think in, let's just call it any screen should work, right? What we do like though is an HDMI connector or possibly a converter if you're using an older computer screen. Right, so let's look at what this is. So, it's a little miniature thing, guys. It's super small. Super, super small. That is the TV box. Let me show you what's inside this box quickly. We got a El Cheapo remote, supplied HDMI cable, and a power, uh, power adapter, if you can call it. And of course, a manual, which you're probably not going to read anyway, so we'll throw that back in there. Okay, for demonstration size, uh, for, for demonstration of size, here is a 6.8 inch screen, I think it is. It's filthy, but yeah. So it's very small, guys. In terms of thickness, it's not much thicker than a phone, right? It's a small device. This is how you connect it and you want to pay really careful attention to this. You do need to put these on a surge protector. In fact, all your electronic equipment at home should be on a surge protector. Okay, so your power cable is it's a basic power connector that is just going to plug in here. And you can see I've obviously not plugged it in yet because I'm going to plug in the HDMI cable first. So that just goes in here, all right? That is all that you need to connect to this device to get started. The next thing I'm gonna do is plug this into power. Okay, so guys, you can see the device is already powered up and it's already doing an installation, right? So we're just gonna wait for a couple of seconds for this installation to finish because uh, it is the first time that it started up and thereafter we should be able to get access into Android. As, as you can see, we've now booted into the interface. So every time you switch your TV on or your monitor on or whatever it may be, this is the home screen, this is what you're going to see. And effectively, this is where you run everything from. So as you guys know, the benefit of having a smart TV box is really for you to be able to put on Netflix, Showmax, um, what are some of the apps, uh, Prime Video, uh, YouTube, all of those things. So you can effectively turn an old TV or an old monitor that you're not using into a fully functional smart TV. And I think, I mean, that's a, quite a handy device, right? The nice thing is that because it's an Android-based operating system, you have the full, full access to the normal Google Play Store and so forth, which means you can download games um, and you can also what we call side load applications, which is basically any application that you don't find in the Google Play Store, you can download that APK separately and then download it onto, uh, onto the box. So, just to show you guys, so the, the remote is fairly easy guys, left and right arrows, that's just going to move, that's basically what it is, and now you see I'm just going to go into settings, okay, and here what we're going to do is set up, um, okay, maybe, can you still see like this? Is it okay? Mm. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is set up the internet, right? Or to set up Wi-Fi. So we're just going to go to network settings. And if you see... Okay, so the first thing we want to do is set up the Wi-Fi. And as you can see, it's already picked up my connection. So I'm just going to... The keyboard will automatically pop up. Very similar to an Android phone. Um, this obviously can be a little bit tedious because all you've got is just this little remote to play around with. Um, but of course you can connect an external keyboard and if you do that it will be a lot faster. But I don't recommend it purely because most of the applications these days don't require a keyboard unless you want to search. And if you do search, it's really just a couple of alphabets that you need to put in in order for it to, uh, for it to find what you're looking for. Video. Okay, so now that your Wi-Fi is connected and as you can see it does say connected, so all we do is just go back. Okay, so the easiest way to test that you are connected to the internet, of course, is just to try out YouTube. So as you guys can see, it's already loaded. And 
just like browsing on your Android phone. So had you signed in here, you would have actually synchronized everything on your phone uh, would now automatically appear here. So just to show you guys that everything is working, we will try to play something that's non-copyrighted. Um, there you go. And of course here you can see is an advert. And in terms of quality guys, it's great. I mean you can skip and you can you can forward as well. All of these options, no different. So it, as I said, as much as it's an El Cheapo remote, it's definitely functional and it does the job. Because um, these smart TV boxes have sort of been improved now to run this specific remote. So that was YouTube. As you can see, it's working. Um, there's no rocket science here, guys. It's, if that video works, everything else will work. And then, of course, there is Netflix. And I think most people will buy this purely just to have Netflix uh, available, you know, on a spare TV or maybe to an older person or grandparent, whatever it may be. Um, so a couple of seconds just for you to boot up because it's the first time that it's going in and you can see now here's the sign in page. So I'm going to sign up with my account so long and show you what the login looks like. Okay so we're now logged into our family profile as you guys can see it just carries whatever is logged onto the system. Um, what's really nice is the download and go feature which basically means you can obviously just download and watch later even if you don't have internet access. The smart box itself, what we usually do is actually carry it on holiday. And the nice thing is that just carry an HDMI cable, you plug it into your hotel TV, and whatever's stored on the box can be watched. And of course, most hotels have free Wi-Fi, so just connect up to the free Wi-Fi and you'll be able to also download and watch uh, further movies. Um, in terms of, if you have a look here now, we're already in the profile. Um, obviously, you can scroll around. You, the mouse, uh, the actual remote itself does have a mouse mode. So just by pressing this little button here, you can actually enable or disable the mouse mode. Now, unfortunately, Netflix doesn't work too well with just these buttons here. So you do need to enable the mouse mode to be able to scroll up and down um, and obviously select different options. So you can see here, we can just come down and obviously the enter button is the center button. So you can, you'll notice that whatever is available to download will pop up. So if you just click the little download button, that will be stored either on the SD card or on the 16 gigabyte storage space, which it does have. So, you know, if you put in a 128 gig storage uh, flash disk, sorry, flash drive in there, you'll be able to store quite a bit of movies. Uh, obviously, carry your own movies. You can plug anything, anything that's on a flash drive, guys, you'll be able to play. I don't recommend plugging in external hard drives. They tend to take a little bit too much power and cause a little bit of issues. And here you can see it is playing, um, you know, obviously for copyright purposes, I won't be able to show you too much video, but as you can see, it's playing. Um, just going back. So back in the main menu, guys, you can sideload any application that you want to. Um, and of course, I'm going to do another video showing you guys how to sideload. So please watch the second video. We will put it up during the course of the week. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.